Morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Real United States video blog and I'm your host Paul Campbell and we're here just north of Mims, Florida at Sleds Strawberries. This is a U-Pick strawberry farm, one of the few U-Pick farms still left in the United States. They're uh, a dwindling sort of phenomenon. When I was uh, a young man back in the 60s and 70s they were more common where you would pick your own fruits whether they were strawberries or apples or whatever. But this still exists here in Florida, and today we're gonna to pick us some strawberries. This is uh, the end of January, or the end of February, rather. And uh, I lost a month. And uh, so this is the time of year that the strawberries come in. Uh, strawberries are the only fruit that has the seeds on the outside. There are approximately 200 seeds on the outside of the average strawberry. And uh, Florida is the second largest producer in the United States of strawberries after California, which produces the, the bulk of strawberries, fresh strawberries. Um, and Florida produces strawberries later in the year uh, during, a, during the cooler months like this. They are the first fruit that ripens in the spring, whence, uh, whence it being February. And uh, usually here in Florida, where there's a large strawberry festival in at the end of February, beginning of March every year, it's, uh, it's in Plant City, which is not too far from here. And uh, it's a large uh, event every year when the strawberries come in. So actually, I'm gonna take the camera and Beverly's gonna do some strawberry picking for us. Morning, everybody. I'm gonna pick strawberries. You can see here that the strawberries have been set up on raised beds about six inches above the normal soil level. This is for help to, for drainage so the, the plants will grow more robust. They won't get waterlogged if we get a lot of rain. And that uh, they have this black plastic with uh, cuts in it that allow for the strawberry plant to grow up through the plastic. And that keeps the weeds down. So you have an absolutely weed free, that one's in blossom, you can see. An absolutely weed free strawberry field. And this is actually a relatively large field. We're probably looking at close to 40 acres of strawberries here. I'm not exactly certain, might be 30. Um, and they provide you with a nice container made out of PVC pipe and a disposable well, or takeable uh, cardboard container. And you can pick as many or as few as you like. The strawberries are $2 a pound, so you pick your berries, you take them up, have them weighed, you pay for them. I'm going to pan around here just a little bit while Bev's picking her strawberries furiously. Give you some idea of the extent of the field. There aren't many people out here. It's just after 9 in the morning. Now the tree line you see off in the distance, which is across the road, is actually a, an orange grove. You see a number of folks here parked in the morning. It's just a field. And the owners have set up their tables with their baskets and everything. They have a small semi-permanent shed here set up for doing business out of. And their scale is set up here on the table. And we're literally on the edge of the field and there's more orange groves in the back. So those are coming to the end of their season, whereas the strawberries are just coming into season. We've chosen to trade places for uh, a number of reasons. 
One is that Bev really likes picking strawberries and it doesn't excite me near as much. <laughs> I think the other is to teach me a lesson about just how hard it is to, uh, to, to video something, to, to use the camera. So um, you can see she's smiling like a Cheshire cat. This is a kind of a rare opportunity for us. As I said, uh, when we were children, many, many producers used the method of pick your own. It was cheaper that way. There was no labor involved for them. And so people would pick their own fruit. Now, due to concerns over damage to plants or trees or whatnot, fewer and fewer places are doing it. We'll see if we can get in here and get some tighter shots of uh, what Bev's doing. Beautiful, they're really, really big, and they're beautiful. And this strawberry place is open several days during the week, but they pick them out almost every day that they're open, so they're, they're only open like three days a week to give the berries time to ripen. They're just gorgeous. They're very big. They're very beautiful. Now the fact that we managed to get this episode on this particular day is actually rather fortunate or fortuitous uh, because uh, they're predicting that uh, we're actually going to get our first frost of the season tonight that it's probably going to drop down to as low as 20 degrees in some areas. And so, um, while it won't kill off, kill the plant root, it'll kill off some of the tops and, and certainly slow the production down for several weeks. It's like a kid in a candy store, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I love doing this. I haven't done this in years. Now back in the northern climates in Michigan where we're from, the strawberries come in uh, obviously much later in the year, probably more in June. So this is kind of a treat for us. In fact, the first time we've gone out and done the pick your own here in Florida, you can see many of the plants are still in blossom. So there will be more and there's some many berries that aren't ripe yet. So in the coming days and coming weeks there will be more fruits assuming they survive tonight's frost. <coughs> but very likely the berries will survive. The blossoms, maybe not so much. So there may be some setback. Comparatively speaking, $2 a pound, uh, which would be what? about uh, five and a half US dollars per kilo uh, is, a, is a pretty good price. That one. Gives you some idea of the mass of these, how nice they are. Beautiful berries. You see here, Bev is getting her container well fuller than I had anticipated. She keeps moving while I'm trying to straddle the strawberry row to see if I can do this without jiggling the camera or falling on my ass. Almost done. 
it's sort of addictive is the problem you have to uh, kind of pace yourself because you'll just pick until you can't carry anymore they're they're so beautiful and so big now we had said the the United States is the largest producer of fresh strawberries in the world California produces about 80 percent of these strawberries in the United States and the vast majority of the remaining 20 percent come from Florida in the winter months whereas in California they come more in the summer and fall months okay I'm done that didn't take very long not too terribly bad now we just clean our knees off and should be as good as new See here we come up and they weigh the strawberries and then give you your total. You want to try some fresh squeezed juice? Yeah, is that what you want? Joe's gonna pay for the strawberries. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Oh, and they're gonna give us a cup of fresh squeezed orange juice. Straight. Cheers, dear. Cheers. Straight from your own trees, correct? Yes, sir. Red maple. You ham ones next time. Mmm. How much is that? Three dollars a half gallon or six dollars a gallon. Wow. And here's a cart for blueberries. Okay. Half gallon. Okay. Oh, that's that's really nice, folks. Really, really nice, fresh squeezed, right from the fruits from their uh, their groves right here. Uh -huh. And uh, very nice. Here we are at Sled Citrus. Beautiful outfit. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you so much, folks. Well, thank you all. Thank you. So we'd like to thank you for joining us on the Real United States video blog here in Mims, Florida at Sled Strawberries for this episode. We hope that you'll take time and pick subscribe and join us for future episodes. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. We love to hear your comments. You can always find us on Facebook, on G+, on MoTube. Please, please try and remember to share this with your friends and family. We'd appreciate that. And as always, thanks for watching.